Toronto Blue Jays starter Hyun Jin Ryu has finally made his first appearance of the season, but it was not obviously with the Toronto Blue Jays. It was with the minor league team in the FCL for the Coast League. And he did quite good there, honestly, though. As you can see, Keegan Matheson tweets out, Hyun Jin Ryu pitched in the FCL today, his first game action since Tommy John surgery and a major step. Three innings pitched, one earned run, four hits, zero walks, five Ks. Entering 2023, um, I felt any contribution at all from Ryu was just a bonus. At this point, he has a shot to pitch significant innings. And I completely agree with that. That is definitely true. I mean, that is a good stat line for sure. Not the best, not the worst. I mean, this is his first time back in pitching, obviously, in a, in a while, long time since surgery. So against real competition, obviously, in a real game, that really matters. Um, and obviously, you know, he did pretty good. He did good. And um, not the best, definitely not the greatest, but three innings pitch, one and run, four hits, no walks. I would be happy with that. It's pretty five Ks as well. Is not bad. I mean, we know we're using not the, the biggest strikeout machine in the whole entire world. So those numbers aren't too terrible either. And I just think overall, you know, he, he's been pretty good. I mean, that's good to see that he is, uh, he's getting back kind of, you know, moving forward again. Obviously, we'd like to see him with the Jays make a good impact this year. And I mean, maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll have to wait and see. But I do think that seeing this is is really good to see. It definitely is nice to see that the Jays are, they are might have Ryu back. I mean, obviously, going into this season, I didn't really know if Ryu was going to be that, make that big of an impact on the Jays. But if he can, great. If not, whatever. But I think, well, obviously, we signed him for a four-year, $20 million deal per. So that was a lot of money. And right now, we have not gotten that $80 million worth of Ryu, that's for sure. With the Jays, had that one good year in 2020, had a oh eh, kind of year in 2021 with a 4.37 ERA and 31 starts. So, like, it wasn't a terrible season, but definitely not what you expect out of a guy who has a you know career ERA, ERA of 3.27, right, in the majors. So, obviously, you would have liked a little better there. And, uh, you know, last year, only had six starts, 5.67 ERA, obviously got blown up, had to have surgery, was off the rest of the season. We don't do good in the playoffs, and, um, you know, we move on to this season, and we were kind of thinking, I was hoping at least, that Ryu could at least come back and maybe do something, right? Just something, like maybe eat some innings here and there, be a long reliever type guy, you know, maybe start him, have three innings pitched here or there, four innings, whatever it is, like, I don't expect him to have any starts that go like six plus innings, but if you can have a start here or there that goes, you know, four or five innings, I think we would be pretty happy with that. And anything like a, a four and a half year or less, I think we'd be pretty happy with that as well. Uh, once he gets to the majors, I think we can't expect too much out of him because he is coming off surgery. He is getting old. I mean, he's not definitely not the spring chicken anymore that he used to be. Um, he is obviously like 36 years old, so he's definitely getting up there in age on the last year of his deal, coming off of injury, all oh, getting surgery. And, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. Obviously, we don't know whether or not he's going to actually be a great pit player with the Jays at the major league level this year. But I do hope that we can at least get something out of him this year because, you know, Pan got 80 mil and he only has like one year. And that was that was a COVID year too, right? So that was only, he didn't have that many starts that year. Obviously, he only had 12 starts in that COVID year. So, you know, having a one, tw like 12 starts, of, you know, good year and that's it. Like, that's not great for 80 mil. So I would like to see him at least do something, like help this team in some kind of way because this team is struggling right now. I mean, pitching has been pretty solid for the most part, has been quite good. Obviously, we could use it on a fifth starter here. So maybe it can be that. Probably not. I don't know if he can be like a legit number five starter, but if he can at least be a guy who can start here and there, um, eat up his minutes here and there, and you know, hopefully Manoa comes back soon and can figure his thing out. So maybe you have, you know, Manoa going, and then you have Ryuwa come in as like a long reliever if you know you need him to at some point or for whoever. For whoever or like I think Ryu can make some kind of an impact. That is for sure. So hopefully he can. And after a good first start back hopefully he can turn things around from last year obviously the past couple of years had not been great hopefully he can turn things around and get back to form because Ryu in the past has been elite so if we can at least see something okay out of Ryu like I said something like four and a half year something around there I would be happy with and uh yeah we're not setting the standards too high for him I don't think don't don't expect anything too crazy like I said if we can get a four and a half year rate of him I think we gotta be happy with that but anyways guys Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, please smash the like button and definitely comment on other guys' thoughts on Ryu potentially making the comeback with the Jays. And do you think he's going to do good? What do you think he's going to do? Do you think he's going to be a starter, bullpen guy, long reliever? What do you think we're going to get with Ryu? Thanks for watching and see ya.